Hey, it's Sunday morning and I'm just doing a little shipping this morning. It's been a very crazy day. Or yes, it was a really crazy day. Between a falcon killing a killing a squirrel in our front yard. And it actually it happened again this morning. I didn't catch it, but kind of crazy. We heard the ruckus and I seen him taking off another squirrel. I don't know if it's the same one, but what are the chances that that happened in two days in a row? And then my wife cut her finger and got herself five stitches yesterday. So, crazy, crazy. Anyway, got some stuff to ship out. Yesterday was probably about a $1,400 day. And it's weird, I had two canceled sales. One from a viewer. Go figure. But uh, first thing we'll get into is these pairs of shoes. Cap toe, black cap toe, leather. These are Allen Edmonds, Park Avenue. They're in okay shape. I mean, they're not in better in okay shape. But they're probably, you know, good to very good condition. Sold these. I picked these up when I went on my field trip to Pennsylvania for Mr. Buy's lot. Seems like every week I'm selling something out of that lot. So I picked up like 80 pieces. And I already made a profit out of everything, so... These are profit, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. But these sold for 55 bucks. And then I got some shirts here. We sold this pair, this shirt. It's Gustin. And I got this from my boy Wes. He sent me during the pandemic about 40 shirts. I think I paid about $10 a shirt. This one sold for $48. Going somewhere overseas. Don't remember. I think it was France, but I could be wrong. And I picked up the wrong shirt. It's a shirt just like this. Not this one though. <laughs> I sold a Vineyard Vine shirt. <laughs> that one's not it though. For twenty bucks, nothing special. <laughs> but I got the wrong shirt. This is a pair of uh, Vince pair of pants here. These are women's. See, they have a high retail. Value 275. I picked these up from Brian also. I picked up a bunch of women's new tag stuff. I'm usually not much into women's stuff, but tags tell you everything you need to know. So why not pick them up? They like these wide leg comfort kind of pants. And these sold for a hundred dollars plus shipping. This men's jacket here has like this uh window pane to it and pattern it's probably part of a suit this sold for 140 dollars brand is brioni so this going to japan i just picked this up recently i think i paid about 20 dollars for it and i thought i overpaid for it but it was one of those things like i'm just buying something to buy something because i need it sold some ties sold these two ties to the same person this is like a brown you can't really see it all that well and i'm not unbagging them so this one is like a cashmere sold for 51 bucks it's turnbull and asser this is another turnbull and asser this is silk sold for 51 dollars each same buyer and then this tie is a brioni has a nice little flower florally diamond shape to it and that sold for 43 dollars plus shipping and then some baseball cards sold. So sold this one. And I'll try to be accurate. This is a Robert Williams. He's a Celtic player. This is a one of one. So there's only one of this specific card. They have a bunch of different cards. They're different parallels, which they'll have different colors. This guy has the weakest autograph I've ever seen. Most of the cards are just with the R. This one he added his number, which is 44. It's graded already by Beckett. And they grade the autograph. I hate ones that are autographed a nine. They sell for a lot less. But this is also just a one of one. This is going to Japan and it sold for 225 bucks. A few months ago I picked up four of these and a lot. This is the first one I've sold. I paid $110 for the lot. So this one sold for $225. And I still got three. Uh Still got three of the cards. One's numbered to five, one numbered to ten, and one's numbered to twenty-five to sell. So, not bad profit on that one. This is a graded card. It's 
graded by PSA. It's Anthony Simons. He plays for the Tampa uh, Trailblazers. He's not really a star or anything. He's a young kid. Still got a lot of time. I was really high on this guy. I got so many of this kid's cards that I got great. The main reason I'm selling some of the cards at the moment because I have a bunch of PSA orders that are going to start to pop. And there's probably about four or $5,000 in grading fees. So I figured, let me sell a few cards to get some of my money back. So I can get some. I don't have to worry about like going into savings or going into um, my stocks and stuff. To, you know, get some extra money for the grading. So I figured I'd sell some cards. This one's just a basic base, or they call it base card and i'll show you the difference in a minute this one sold for like 56 bucks i have several of those and then this one you see it's called a silver has a different uh let's see if you can see that it has like a different shine to it same card diff just a different parallel this actually i think like pini did like 40 different variations of this card so they'd be like a green a blue a red a purple so many different ones. It's ridiculous. Um, but anyway, that card's sold. So I sold these four of them, uh, no, five of them to the same sell for 110 bucks. I'm into these for about 40 to $50 each. I don't remember what the exact price I paid for them. Got them off of somebody a while back. And then I also picked up this one. This one I paid about 80 bucks for. And I sold it for 160 And all these are going to the same buyer. This is a different card. See, it's like a ticket. It's autograph. Kind of weak autograph. Once again, AS. But pretty cool card. But I can do without it. I got some really extremely rare cards of his. So these ones, I can go. I need that money for grading. You know what I'm saying? Now I have the right shirt. Just a Vineyard Vine shirt. Similar colors. I knew it was a brown check. I just grabbed the wrong one. So $20. I don't pick these up anymore. Just sell too cheap for me. Got a few things going out this morning. Very uneventful day. But we have this Xenia. Just a blue dress shirt. It's going out 35 plus shipping. This Keaton Keaton not sure how you pronounce that exactly but got a little red dot like target this shirt is a men's dress shirt this sold for 68 bucks both of those probably have sold within the last two months or so i would say they've been listed and this is a field and stream leather suede vest it's new with tags got this on our picking field trip to pennsylvania this sold for 68 bucks. The other two shirts, I'm going to say I was into them probably for 5 to 8 bucks. Nothing crazy. So, that's it. Not crazy sales, but hey, these add up, make money. And that's it. Nothing else I can say, right? Today, trying to inspect my wife's computer, trying to figure out why it's not working. And this came up. So it wasn't working at all. She's one of those people that black out her uh <laughs> camera i think she's afraid of someone spying on her i'm trying to figure out what the hell this means yeah. boot service not found what do you mean boot service timberlands don't know blogs what do you mean boot service i gotta go to my computer we have desks across from each other be like, yo, what up? How you doing? What are you beeping at me for? Disrespectful computer. So, literally, probably, yeah, this was not last year. This is probably going back now almost two years. I got this mess of stuff. <laughs> it's been kicking around, following me. It's all this dog stuff. And it takes up a little a space here. Filled up a U-Haul trailer and part of my truck. And just to show you, I got to get rid of this stuff. It's really bothering me. All this stuff. So I got to go through this in the next few days. I think my wife listed a few pieces and got discouraged. 
by trying to sell some of it. So this will be my job over the next few days. I'm going to get this stuff on Facebook. Get it the hell out of here. So I want this space. But that's what happens sometimes. I get stuff. I don't know what to do with it. And I just leave it somewhere. <laughs> and in this case, it's taken up. When I when I didn't see it, it was in the off. I mean, in the. I didn't see it when it was in the uh, storage unit. I mean, I seen it, but it was out of sight, out of mind. Ugh. Now I got to deal with it all the time. Bunch of crap. I don't know why my wife did this with all my hats. It's like, what are you doing? But hey, refrigerator, microwave, you know, breakfast, and this wire mess. I feel like I'm gonna fall over this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm clumsy. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> kind of weird. But wire mess. But that's it. See you guys later. Just another day at the office. Figuring out some things I got to get done. Working on some things. And that's it. See you guys later. Bye-byes.